One of the common training questions that we receive is how do we teach our dogs to position themselves between our legs when we call or whistle for them? If you've watched any of the videos of Rush during his Mondio training, you know what I'm talking about. If not, here's a quick example. The command we use for this is place. However, you can name it whatever you would like. We use the place, place command when we need to call our dogs and gain control of them without compromising straight fronts and finishes that are required for competition in both obedience and schutzend. It's also accepted form of recall for the Mondio ring and can yes. be used in trials. Even if you simply have a dog as a companion, you'll find that teaching the place command can be a handy tool when you want to gain a mental and physical connection with your dog in a way that is very black and white to the dog. The training for the place command is done through rewards. And what I mean by this is there's no corrections and the dog realizes that when it's between the handler's legs, only positive things happen there. We start by luring the dog. This means exactly what it says. You're gonna take treats, one in each hand, and simply get the dog to follow the food into the desired position. We also use a mark when training the place position. And what I mean by this is when the dog is in the proper place position, we mark it and reward it. We go into a lot more detail about training with markers in our marker training DVD. Luring your dog into the place position is a two-step process. You're gonna start with a treat in each hand. The first step is to take your right hand, lure the dog around to the side of your body. Step two will then be to take your left hand with the treat still in it and lure your dog through your legs into the place position. This is where you will both mark the place position with a yes or whatever your mark may be and reward the dog with the treat. Here's a quick diagram of what I mean by the two steps. The first arrow is your right hand, the second arrow is your left hand, and then you reward the dog once your dog is between your legs. Let's take a look at this one more time. Now watch as I lure Dakota around my side with my right hand, then through my legs with my left hand, and mark and reward in the place position. Now, when filming this, I kind of cheated a little bit because Dakota already knew place before I went and filmed this footage. So what we're gonna take a look at now is Sharon and her dog Chevelle training the place position for the first time. Chevelle is a puppy that Sharon has had for about a week now, and this is its first experience ever with this type of training. You can see here where Sharon marks and rewards Chevelle when she's in the place position. This reinforces in the dog's head that good things happen there, that they're gonna get rewarded, they're gonna get treats. Only good things are gonna come from being in between the handler's legs, therefore they're gonna want to go there. Here's one more look at the diagram on how to lure your dog through your legs. One last thing to add here is that a dog that has more toy drive than food drive can be trained the place position with a toy. Right now you're watching Rainy and I, and Rainy has a lot of toy drive, as you can see how excited she is to run into the place position for this wing -a ball I still recommend that you start with the treats in order to properly train the lure through the legs, but once a dog has a clear understanding of what it's supposed to do, you can switch to the toy to build more motivation.